Hi there, I'm Thomas Michel, founder of Real Guitar School. In this video, we're going to do an easy version of Amazing Grace. Now, if you just learned guitar, this is a great song to learn, partly because everybody knows the melody, and it's a nice three chord song. Amazing Grace. We're going to use three chords the D chord. I'm hitting the fourth string all the way to the first string. The G chord. Now I'm going to make a four note G with four fingers. You can make any G that you're comfortable with. Some of my students like to just go to the three note G. And then some of them do just two notes because they're not quite ready. You can even do one finger and it'll actually sound pretty good. We're going to do the four finger G. And then finally an A7 chord. And again, you can do the A7 several different ways. So it's in three quarter time. What that means is three beats per measure. It's a little different feel than four beats per measure. It's one, two, three, da, da, da. You don't have to know the music theory. It's the feel we're after. Da, da, da. Let's do it with a straight down strum to start off with. It's going to be D. You follow along with me. By the way, I have the download sheet on my blog lesson, so you can always look on that for the lyrics. Now follow me. Strum along. Here we go. Straight down. Easy. Da, me, raise. I'm not a singer. Da, G. And back to D. Now we're going to the A7, da, two measures there again, two, da, and then back what's lost, the G now, and back to D, what's blind, but A7 now, I am back to D. Okay, let's do that one more time. If you want, try this strum that I'm going to use. It's just down, down, up, down, up. And if you're not sure about that, practice the strum separately. Just take your guitar, even block off the chords, block off the strings so you don't hear them. Just make this strum. Down, down, up, down. I count like this. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. I'll go ahead and sing a little bit more. But trust me, I'm not a singer. You can do much better than me on this. I just want you to know where the chords go with the lyrics. Here we go. Amazing grace, how sweet. There goes a G. The sound saved a wretch like me. Funny saying wretch. <laughs> Okay. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now. Oh, I'm sorry. I see. The ending part goes, was blind, but and now. A seven on now and back to D. Okay, just a little bit of theory. That is in the key of D. It starts on the D, and it uses the three chords that are in the key of D. You can change the key on this, but if it's very low for my voice, first thing I would do if I wanted to sing a little bit higher is I'd put a capo. Let me show you. Okay, here we are with a capo. Now, rather than change all the chords, this is an easy way to raise the key up a little bit. Now, I've raised it up two frets. That's one step. So it was in D, now it's going up one full step, D to E, that's one step. D sharp would be half a step, that'd be one fret, to E. So you don't even have to know that, just know it works better for your voice. Can you hear it? It's higher pitch. I'm going to play the same chord forms. That D now becomes an E chord, one step higher. Amazing. Try it along with me. 
If, if you have a capo, put it on and just try it once through. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I. Okay, that's it for today's lesson. There's more to this on my blog. Head on over there and download the sheet so at least you have the, the right lyrics. Also, get on my mailing list if you're not already there. I'll be coming up with a more fancy version of this song. I'm just dying to do this, but I want to start with the simple one. Fancy version, I'll add some finger picking and maybe even do a guitar solo version if you'd like to try that. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the future. Bye. <laughs>